Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Scaramazzo's High Intensity Tournament. We are in our quarterfinals. We are down to eight men, the Elite Eight. Here we go. We have all four matches for tonight, and we are live in Hamburg, Germany. And that is going to be the home of the quarterfinals of shit. And we are starting off with a huge no escape cage match. We saw one of these before. Pinfall or submission is the only way to win this match. And it's going to happen inside of a steel cage. And that steel cage is going to lock down a competitor who wouldn't have made it into this round most likely without a bit of a runaround. Well, he's not gonna get that opportunity tonight. No, Geeks Wargaming is locked in a cage against Muppet Pac-Man, the Plim Plom Pluserweight champion of the JFW. Well, folks, I gotta tell ya, uh, that cage swings both ways. It's gonna lock Geeks down in place, but Muppet Pac-Man is gonna be denied his 619, his bread and butter, Oh, and if you didn't know, a no escape cage match is two out of three falls. So one fall ain't gonna do it. You gotta win two out of three. This one is gonna be epic. Does Geeks have some fight in him after his globetrotting adventures last week? We're about to find out as he makes his way to the ring. Let me know if there's any audio or video problems while we're getting started. As I've said, I'm new at streaming on my own on this stuff. But I am here alone. It is Gorilla Mezzo. I will talk you through this. I can promise you we have a hell of a lot of action in store for you tonight. This one's going to be a massive show. But here he comes. Fan favorite indeed. It is Muppet Pac-Man gyrating out with the largest belt in all of professional wrestling for the smallest men in professional wrestling. It is Muppet Pac-Man, your plim plom loser weight champion. And here he comes, the snake-armed phenom. Cage match, no 619s tonight. Can he overcome and make it to the final four? A lot of people in the audience tonight are rooting for this guy. Former unnatural snacker, former heart and soul of the JFW. Now he lives and breathes shit and you can see it in the colors, and we're gonna let the shit fly tonight, folks. Whew. And I'm gonna crack my beer for the night. And let's get started. Geeks versus Muppet Pac-Man. Quick spin kick, quick kick to the thigh there by Muppet, and he's taken right over. No, that big right fist of the larger man. Geeks coming right back at him. Beautiful stuff, thank you, Calcium. Welcome aboard, everyone. If I haven't welcomed you yet, it is time for some quarterfinal action. I can't see anything. Glasses are coming off for a while. They're gonna improve, they're just gonna in hinder my ability to read chat while I'm doing this because it's a really bright day out today. Oh, and look at this beautiful head scissors takedown. And Muppet Pac-Man stomping on Geeks Wargaming as this first match of the night is underway. Two out of three falls to determine this one. Pinfall or submission, the only way to win this match. Oh, early pinfall attempt there, but no, not even a one count kick out. Ref a little slow on that count. The standing drop kick, Muppet staying on top of Geeks. Geeks should be relatively fresh, even though he uh, motored his way across Australia and found his way up to uh, Northern Europe into Hamburg, Germany. Oh, nice suplex by Geeks, and now the little man a bit staggered. Can Geeks get something going here? Big stomp to the forehead. And Geeks and Muppet could not be more evenly matched right now. Really going after each other in this one.
And Muppet now rolling, rolling him over to the center of the ring here. Maybe looking. No, he's going to do that. That patented flip, we see it from all the little guys in the JFW, a, a staple of Dress for Business, both of which members we will see in competition tonight, but did not get the job done there for Muppet Pac-Man. Yeah, Calcium. Yeah, two shit loyalists. Oh, here we go, the tripleta. Triple suplexes by Muppet Pac-Man, and he's sure making them look good. Oh, and look at this, Muppet climbing. Can't escape the cage for a win, but he can use it for that, that center of the ropes leverage to drop a big elbow. I'm gonna wager we're gonna see that a few times. Muppet loves to fly. Calcium Kaz excited for this opening match, but he's got to keep his wits about him. He has his own huge match against Lemon is Good later tonight. That one could go either way. Lemon is Good advancing off of one of the most amazing feats of endurance I think I've ever seen outlasting Skuramezzo in Hell in a Cell after being tossed directly through the ring and into the mat. Don't know how he survived that one, but he went coast to coast to advance and beat the co-founder of shit. And now he's got a match against Calcium Kaz. Don't know what kind of match that's gonna be. Should be something special though. Oh, I thank you. You know, Gorilla Mezzo, gotta look good. I'm definitely wearing the full ensemble. I'm definitely not not wearing pants. And back in this action, again, this is a two out of three falls. Haven't even seen one yet. Neither man has, has really attempted many pinfalls yet. This one could go the distance. Oh, what a wheel kick there by Muppet Pac-Man. <laughs> oh, and there we go, scaling up the side. Oh, no! Maybe he thought he was on a turnbuckle there, had a little bit too much spring in his step, and he went right over. Now, here you go, he's adjusting here, going over to the better footing, and now he's going to try this top rope maneuver again, but from a turnbuckle this time. What's he got? Oh, and that one, that diving shoulder block, that one connects, and now here comes a pinfall. This could be a three count. No, two and a half, but Geeks kicks out. Another two count now by Geeks here, and they're just trading off. These guys know they are, they're getting worn down, and they're looking for that quick strike to go up one nothing because that puts the ball in your court. Once you're up one nothing into two out of three falls, you've got all the momentum in the world. Oh, nice drop toe hold by Geeks. Gets back to a oh, beautiful punch, and look at this. Here we go. Oh, that is the finisher. That's Geeks' finisher. That we're gonna call that the globe trotter. No, does not score the three count after it. Hits the globe trotter, but doesn't get the pinfall. And this match continues. Nothing, nothing. Oh, and Geeks just sends him into that steel cage there. Brutal stuff, you don't want to impact that, but Muppet right back to his feet, wrenching that arm around. And then, oh, the X Factor, what a comeback by Muppet. But what's he got for him? Oh, nice chop. Oh, but no, the kick countered by Geeks Wargaming, these two could not be more evenly matched right now, if you ask me. Oh, beautiful missile uh, kick into the corner there. Geeks all over, stomping on the forehead, and look at this. Gut wrench, that deadlift powerbomb sits down into the pin. One, two, three, count it. <laughs> two count kick out again by Muppet, and still the score, nothing, nothing. The cage is the hardest part of the ring right now, that is for sure. There's a bit of give to it, but it's still steel. Oh, look at this, Muppet gonna drop the worm, not doing the dance, 
We rarely see him dig that deep to do the full worm, but this has got to be enough for a three count. That's going to have to be his go-to. Oh, two count kick out just barely gets the shoulder up one more time. That worm's going to have to do some work for Muppet because he has lost the 619 in this cage match. Oh, the kip up. Geeks caught him sleeping there. Beautiful counter. Now Geeks going to stomp on that head again. And now Geek's gonna fly. We don't see him go top rope often, and we're not gonna see it now. Decided to give up on that one, drops right back down, and sends Muppet Pac-Man into the corner. God damn it, what's all this shit? Oh my, what the <laughs> heck? Well, it looks like I'm being joined in the booth right now by my co-caster from JFW, Jimps. Hey Jimps, how you doing, buddy? Hello. How'd you get past security? I mean, I'm glad you took my invite to heart and uh, showed up to join me in the booth tonight. How you doing? Yep, uh, I'm all right. Uh, yeah, I'm not Tarsus. I do sound uh, similar yeah, to Tarsus. A little bit of a similarity there, but two very different people. And here we go, a pinfall attempt after that head scissors takedown. Just another two count. Jim, have you been following this match? These two are in a two out of three in this no escape cage match. Oh no, blood has been drawn after the knee drop. Neither one of these guys has scored a pinfall yet. I did kick the shit out of your so-called security guys. So yeah, I, did, I, didn't, I haven't seen much, much of the match to be honest. Yeah, I, I would wager you've thrown a punch in the last three, cent, uh, three centuries, uh, Jimps. Uh, I know you watch a lot of wrestling, but it's not the same thing. And there you go, there's that maneuver that usually sets up the uh, 619. Muppet just using it to get geeks down to the mat. Yep. Yep. Well, folks, even though Jims is joining me in the booth tonight, I am going to promise you that the quality of this programming will still be what you expect from Skirmetso's High Intensity Tournament. Oh, and that beautiful bridging suplex almost got him the three point, the three count. Still no pinfall. Geeks bleeding from the forehead now. Hello, Unseen Walker. Rough match to lose that over the top battle royale. We all saw it go down Wednesday night. Sent over the top, almost had the win. Congratulations on a good tournament, though, Unseen. Yes, congrats, uh, JFW superstar Unseen Walker. Not a, not a fully-fledged shithead. <laughs> well, that is true. Former world heavyweight champion saw him in tag action, uh, but not, not successful tag action on Monday Night Claw. And, oh, look at that. Geeks has got himself a three count here. <laughs> Just the two count again. Muppet stays in it. Oh uh, yeah, it was a little weird unseen. I, 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 you know, but you know, we can't, we can't go back and litigate matches that have very clearly and visibly uh, occurred in real time. <laughs> Oh, and Geeks just here's this pump handle, uh, pump handle slam there into the pinfall. Now he's got to have that three count. Two count again. Geeks can't believe it. He look at the blood streaming down his forehead. Geeks is getting desperate. Now he's gonna try and fly. Oh dear. And he does plants the big elbow right into oh the sternum. Muppet not even moving. Now finally to his knees. Geeks right in once again. Sit down, powerbomb doesn't hold on for the pin this time. And now Muppet. No, not yet. Two out of three, too. We are we're 15 minutes deep in this match almost. Still no pinfall. Here comes one though. <laughs> and a two-count <laughs> kick out once again by Geeks. These two are giving nothing to the other. Oh, and Muppet, look at this. Muppet showing his own power. What a power bomb by Muppet. I didn't but, know he had it in him. No, neither did I. Geeks, whoa, with that running kick, but Muppet sidesteps it, finds the fist, though, and now, no, counters with a low kick there. And these two just trading jabs now, trying to find any sort of advantage. Oh, Muppet run into there. Oh, that, that could have done it. He might have brained him on that, on that cage. And another two count kick out. That <laughs> will do, cocky. Will do. <laughs> 
Muppet sent into the ropes, misses on that punch, but here comes the comeback. Nice lariat, gets him down and starts kicking. But Geeks right back in on him, snap suplex. And now the power sit down powerbomb again does not go for the pinfall attempt there. Oh, it looks like he's going to do it again, though. There we go. And now he does sit down. This has got to be it. <laughs> Another two count kick out. Muppet right back to his feet. These guys came to party tonight. The problem is, is this match ever going to end, Jims? It doesn't seem like it, does it? This is no, crazy stuff. Sure doesn't. I know, this has got to be a rare event for you, seeing an actual match that is continuing on because the talent in the ring is just top-notch. You don't see this often. It's usually just a quick stunner and a one, two, three, and that's what gets uh, Mr. Jim McMahon uh, home and in the uh, hot tub, huh? Absolutely, yeah. In, in JFW, the wrestlers have enough power to put away their opponents. <laughs> Yeah, I know, I know the the, uh, the old stuffed sausage match, uh, a JFW staple. This, this is a wet noodle match. <laughs> yeah, fair <laughs> enough. I can't argue that with Muppet's arms. <laughs> well, that wet noodle is coiled around his neck, but <laughs> somehow Geek's getting out of that. Big kick to the uh, midsection. Sends him oh, into I the just corner. Taken a, I just taken a mouthful of tea, and you reminded me of the boys. <laughs> <laughs> well, I haven't seen it. Oh, look at this from Geeks. Big fall away oh. elbow. Shades of Oriolensis there connects with it, and now oh, surely. <laughs> Another two count kick out. Geeks does not know what else to do. Muppet desperate to get back to his feet. But no, just countered again. Geeks, Geeks just running hot right now. Whoa. Now, oh no, dangerous spot for Muppet there. Oh no, and Geeks <laughs> punches him square in the forehead, uh, <laughs> chokes him on the ropes, and Muppet rolling back into the ring the hard way. Man, he's trapped here, isn't he? Well, and now tough. Geek's just taking Muppet apart, thinking, you know what, I've already been here for damn near 20 minutes. I might as well just uh, wear this little guy out. Oh, and the <laughs> trying to bite through his fingers. Problem is, Muppet has his fingers well protected in those socks. <laughs> and both men pouring blood from the forehead right now. <laughs> oh, very <laughs> good. Yeah, you can say cunt all you want on my stream. It's not going on YouTube. Oh, it might on yeah, Jim's. <laughs> I didn't think of that. I didn't think of that. Never mind. Guys, do not say cunt. Do not say cunt. <laughs> and Geek's taking another bite. No, he's not. He's wrenching that shoulder down. Oh, look at that. That left arm there. Or the right arm, actually, behind his back. Oh, dear. oh, nice uppercut by Muppet, but again, no pinfalls. This is a two out of three. Oh, and Geek, you just know a 619 wanted to come there, and now Muppet, oh, he's thinking about oh, the he's worm. Doing, he's doing he's it. He's doing, doing it. The, the whole thing. He's going. He's digging yes. deep. He's digging deep. Is this what it's going to take? Is this what it's going to take? <laughs> If you're gonna go snake, you gotta go full snake. And he went full on snake. Will he get the pinfall? He's got it. He's done it. He's yes. done it. He's up one nothing in this two out of three falls. And Geeks has got a long road to recovery here to try and get back. And sending him into that cage is a good start. Going for a hurricane rana then, maybe. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, the big boot just clobbering Muppet. Easy to get a big boot up when your opponent's like 5'8". And here comes the <laughs> pinfall. Just the two count for Geeks again. He's got to draw level here. This match has just rolled over the 20 minute mark. Well, not including entrances. So we're probably at like 15, 16 minutes. <laughs> And
And Geeks, oh, here we go. This has got to be it. Geeks brings him up, brings him down right into that Ooh. arm bar. Is Muppet going to tap? Is Muppet going to tap? No. Muppet snakes his way to safety there. Geeks going to have to change the hold. But this doesn't look any better for Muppet. That's for damn sure. Oh, boy. Oh, God, he wrenches both of, yeah, both of those arms could be broken. We have one fall lean, Gara. Muppet just scored it after going full-on snake. Oh, but now he's bounced off that cage once again. Geeks with a quick pinfall. This has got to be a, a score for Geeks. A two count again. Now Geeks trying to psych himself up. He's kissing his fist. Is that, does that mean that fist is going to go right in the Muppet's face? We're about to find out. No goal. Oh, what a comeback. A nice little kick by Muppet. Climbing up to drop another elbow, maybe. Sure is. Could Muppet get this here? Could he go 2-0? The clean sweep. It's hard to imagine a clean sweep in a 20-minute match. Just a two count. Muppet wrenching that neck, but no geeks able to fight his way to his feet and punch his way out of that. Both men, again, bleeding profusely. Geeks one more time for the Globetrotter. Oh, Into the so pinfall. One, two, three. Oh, two boy. count again. I tell you what, the longer the match goes on, the more you've got to favor Geeks, haven't you? Because he, he certainly proved last week he's got the stamina. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Sure does have the patience and the, uh, oh, the planning misses with the big boot, though. That could cost him. And it looks like it does. Tornado DDT winds them all up, sends them down. Could this be it? No, nah, just a one count. Crazy. Oh, now Muppet. Oh, Muppet's got that head wound. He's bleeding heavily. He is really considering his options here, going in for the kick. <laughs> yeah, that book of grudge is going to get pretty long for Unseen Walker as shit versus J.E.W. Looks like Unseen being drafted to the forefront. And here comes another snake. Doesn't get the full snake in, but he drops it. But that could be enough. Geeks is taking a ton of damage. No, a two count kick out one more time. Just enough. And Muppet going top rope. What's he thinking? Oh, the coffin drop. Coffin drop right on the geeks. All oh, 110 pounds of him. <laughs> that's hard to withstand. But that's enough to do wow. it. Muppet Pac Man. Look at the sight of him. He is going to the final four. Congratulations, Muppet Pac-Man. Commiserations, Geeks Wargame. Let's take one more look at some of that action. Unbelievable stuff by both competitors. I can't believe Muppet Pac-Man came away a 2-0 winner in that one because it sure felt as even as it could be through the entire match. Yeah, very impressive. Wow, an epic marathon of a match by Muppet Pac-Man and Geeks Wargaming. Muppet getting the 2-0 win in a best of three contest. Not bad for a couple of shitheads. <laughs> yeah, you know, Jim, I, I, know, I know deep down somewhere the company man in you is, is suppressing it. I know you love what you see. I know you wish you could do this day in, day out, instead of that other grind that you call the JFW. This is why I freelance, my friend. Oh, you're half right. I wish I could do it instead of fucking Blood Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> All right, the Beat the Clock Challenge is next, folks. Folks, Beat the Clock Challenge Lean Gara up. I'm going to have to explain this one. This might sound a little bit complicated, but it's really not so bad. Beat the Clock Challenge is going to be Lean Gara with Oriolensis in his corner against the Red Mask with Flicky Flack in his corner. And folks, each man will be given a 10-minute window 
to try and score a pinfall or submission victory. This is Lean Guerra's 10 minute window. If he scores a pinfall or submission, he will set the clock for the match that will happen later tonight against, uh, from the other side, from, from LeBred Mask's side, and then they'll go back and forth. Now, if he loses this match, or if this ends in a draw, they cannot score, he cannot score a pinfall in that 10 minute window, then LeBred Mask, all he'll need to do is win. The timer won't matter. And I'm being told that these representatives are not just there to offer their management skills. If in some way, both of these matches ends in a draw, the winner will be decided in a 1v1 contest between Flicky Flack and Oriolensis, the country wizard. Well, this is, this is a very confusing format, I've got to admit, Gorilla. Even uh, more confusing is, I don't know what beating your cock has got to do with it. But isn't that just what you do in your free time? Or? Clock, clock, Jim, clock. Oh. Oh, clock. Okay. I know you've got cocks on the mind. <laughs> you spend a lot of time with cocky uh, out there, but uh, note tonight we're talking clocks. And Lean Guerra, this will all, as this plays out, this will be very easy to understand. Lean Guerra controls his fate right now. The sooner he wins this match, the harder it is for LeBred Mask to tie him. Yeah, Ancy, I know you thought that, but I wanted to. I wanted this to be a little bit more head-to-head. -head. I think this is going to be a wild one, and you all are going to be very thankful for it. And don't worry, face cam's coming back in a minute. He is, uh, 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 sorry for the, sorry everybody for the technical issues. Scoop, Gorilla Metal is taking it upon himself to have a beat the cop challenge. <laughs> oh dear, we've got a biscuit. I don't know who's gonna have to eat it. Whoa, almost spilled my beer all over everything. That would have been great. <laughs> And here we go, the bread mask, the Friday fuckboy. He's got Flicky in his corner as his representative. This is gonna be a wild one, folks. Beat the clock challenge. Lean Guerra is up first, and here we go. That's why I wanted to do it, so I wouldn't block that. And you'll see down on the bottom of your screen right now, very simplified rules. All that matters right now is how quickly Lean Guerra can win this match. If he doesn't, or if the bread mask can win it, then he is in all sorts of trouble for round two later tonight. I am. I don't know why I'm echoing. How am I doing now? How am I doing now? Am I okay now? Yeah, yeah, I accidentally... I don't know what happened there. Well, I mean, I do know what happened there, but it doesn't matter. Why the fuck did that show up at all? Oh, I know why that showed up. Okay, never mind. Uh, because I have two different, I have two different face cam windows, so I, so I wouldn't have to like rearrange it. But it opened a new audio for it, so it was giving me two audios. We're good. That was my oh, camera's yes. audio. Anyway, one minute already passed, but Le Le Lean Guerra firmly in control of Bread Mask in this one. Yeah, absolutely. And I noticed that uh, number one trending on Twitter right now is Jimmy the People's Champ. That's pretty great, isn't it? Cocky still remembers that the uh, the great champion of the JFW who was put out of commission by that asshole Tarsis. Thank God he's not here tonight. Listen, I don't want to be ageist or anything, considering you're only like two months older than me, but uh, you got to understand a couple things. One, just because Cocky says hashtag something, that doesn't mean it's trending on Twitter whatsoever. That Number just means you put worldwide it... Worldwide on Twitter. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. All I'm seeing on Twitter right now is hashtag shit, hashtag Skurmetso's high intensity tournament, hashtag quarterfinals, oh, hashtag epic. Twitter. Hashtag, hashtag, hashtag. Flicky Flux put in a chair. Yeah, dirty yeah, dingoes. That could uh, that could actually cause a uh, DQ. That is at the ref's discretion uh, in this one. If someone picks up that chair and uses it, he may or may not care about that. Oh, LeBred Mask took a, took a beating there. Yeah, I was thinking about Ansi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, come no, tonight, I, I believe, I would believe. Oh, Lean Guerra, all kinds of excited. Lean Guerra wants to fly. We don't see him go top rope often, but here he goes. 
Oh, and he nails that, that dropping knee there and into the pinfall. Could he set it at just under three minutes? No, he cannot. And this has just been all lean Guerra. You've got to believe he's looking to close this out real quick, make it real hard. If he can score, you know, if he can score a pinfall in just a couple minutes, he can just dance around the ring for that amount of time in the next match and deny LeBred Mask a chance at the final four. And if anyone was going to come up with a way to, uh, to work a, uh, a, a clock counting to advance in a tournament, it would be Lean Guerra, who famously went into the finals of a tag team tournament uh, with a count out victory. <laughs> Some people call him a dirty demon for that. They sure do. Oh, and here we go. Innovative pinfall, uh, pin attempt there by LeBred Mask does nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Lean Guerra, the ultimate clock tease. <laughs> Oh, nice running DDT, and that's got to be it here. There are no rope breaks uh, in this, no count outs as well. Do dragon screw by LeBred Mask to get back to his feet, and look at this. Could we see the Plim Plom Plex? That would be one way to end it. No. <laughs> Yeah, you've got to believe LeBred Mask, while he's got to play the defensive, draw this out as long as possible to, to help his chances, scoring a pinfall on his half would be just as good because then when he goes into his match with his 10-minute counter, all he has to do is draw and he'll still be ahead of Lean Guerra. But that's neither here nor there right now because Lean Guerra is powering right back into this match and could put it away with a single de uh, Scorpion Death Drop. He could. But Lean Guerra, a little bit winded there, knows he's got another 10 minute match ahead of him, most likely, as we've already crossed under the halfway point of this one. So is, is the second match later on in the in the night? Yep, we are going to go to Calcium Kaz versus uh, Lemon is Good between the two matches. Cool. And our main event is going to be Gengar versus Fant Fox. Can't wait to see that one, folks. I know the stipulation, and it is a wild <laughs> one. Going to be crazy. No, Plim Plom Plexi kicks out of it. And here we go. Lean Garrett trying to fire himself up. He's got four minutes to work with still. And and here comes the comeback. Two, two quick clotheslines, now three. Could work him into that corner. And Lean Guerra does this weird stinger splash where he walks up and then, then yeah, every time he just walks up and misses instead. Ooh, Arcleo gets countered. Really got to take notes from the uh, the man it's named after and try and run right in there. <laughs> Never does it. He just walks into the corner and misses every time. But he does a lot of damage with this one, just pounding his head right off that turnbuckle. Full 10 count. We all love a good pounding in the beat your cup challenge. Yep. And you can see out there going out for a breather, getting some advice from uh, Oriolensis, Oriolensis, the country wizard. I don't think Oriolensis told him go top rope with your opponent halfway Whoa, across the ring, way. but he somehow connects. How did he get? He got into the middle of the ring for that elbow drop, barely caught him in the quad, almost hit him right in that, uh, in that bread cheek there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look at this by LeBred Mask. No, never mind. Never mind. LeBred Mask countered. Whoops. Might have hit spacebar. And oh, just, uh, he's so quick. He's one of the fastest Plim Plom Pluser weights. And he loves, he loves that self-rock bottom. 
and he gets the forehead busted open. He might win it right here. No, two count kick out. We're down to two minutes, 25 seconds. Lean Guerra needs to score a pinfall or a submission or he is going to be in a world of hurt later tonight. He is bleeding from the forehead. <laughs> maybe, Muffet, maybe. And once again, sending LeBred Mask into the corner. LeBred Mask fighting back out there. Wild swings there, but they're all connecting. Oh no, dumps him outside the ropes. LeBred Mask hangs on to avoid the big fall. And it looks like he got him a uh, suplex right back into the ring the hard way. And Lean Gare, here it comes. Scorpion death drop. We're a minute 35 away, folks. He's got it. He's got it. He's just got to pin him for the three count. Ooh. And the two count, two and a half count kick out. Lean Garrett can't believe it. Thought that was a slow count. He's got a minute 15. He's got to keep his wits about him. He's looking a little frustrated now. I did too, Muppet. I cannot believe he, LeBred Mask kicked out of that. But after your match earlier tonight, kicking out of anything, you know. It's less surprising. How you doing over there, Jims? I haven't heard from you in a while. You fall asleep? Uh, no, with you pressing space, it made us, uh, made us disconnect a little bit. I was just sawing it out. So oh, I'm sorry. Same. Sorry, sorry. Are you no good? No problem. We're on, we're on the same page now again. Uh, okay, good. Sorry about that. Yeah, I gotta, I, I'm, I'm half Italian, so I talk with my hands a lot, and I hit my keyboard all the time. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Love Red Mask, top rope. Oh, look oh, at that. Beautiful. In for the pin. 30 seconds on the clock. This is it. No. Love Red Mask could have really guaranteed himself as good a chance as you could hope for to get to the quarterfinals. But somehow, Lean Garrett kicks out. But now, Love Red Mask can take all his time in the world. Oh, there it goes. The running bull. Oh, no, no. Oh. The Red Mask very smartly rolling out of the ring. Lee and Guerra knows it. He doesn't have enough time to get him now. This is going to be a draw. And it is a draw there for Lean Guerra. Could not get the pinfall. He's furious about the result. We're going to come back to those two later tonight. Next, <laughs> wouldn't you know it, Calcium Kaz gets himself a backstage brawl against Lemon is Good, and we are off and running here. And they are underway, and Lemon is good, just tearing into Calcium right now. Well, Lean Guerra. Well, Lean Guerra, you don't have to worry too much. You still got a chance in this one, but you're going to have to really turn it on for round two. Lemon is good. Grab that briefcase, and he's coming. No, 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 he didn't. He just dropped it for some reason. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. I'll tell you what, last, last match was, you know, it was good with JFW guys, but this is really great seeing a shithead cut, getting his comeuppance against Calcium here, I'm sure, in his dojo. <laughs> yeah, it sure looks like Lemon's getting his comeuppance right now as he makes a paste out of him with that, <laughs> with that <laughs> briefcase. What is Lemon doing? <laughs> Lemon wants him, wants him desperately in this room, it seems. Oh, and Calcium, Calcium, <laughs> oh, God. Well, he just took Calcium's head off with that briefcase. You can't really say Calcium didn't walk right into that, but I guess, you know, Calcium from behind, the uh, the ambush from behind, as we learned on Monday Night Claw, not exactly uh, his strong game either, as Stephanie McMahon uh, apparently uh, came to w do some work backstage. <laughs> Lemon is good, just tearing into Calcium right now. Come on, Calcium. And again, Calcium having to go high impact to beat Skuramezzo, and it really paid off. Maybe thinking that again here, there's a lot of dangerous stuff backstage. Can Lemon get him over to something? But Calcium, oh! <laughs> Good night, Lemon. Uh, Calcium making some lemonade there. <laughs> oh, now he's got the briefcase. Oh man, that briefcase getting a lot of mileage. Oh, Sends him into the table there, but not through it. And Calcium right back at him. No. 
Now he sends him back into the hallway. Calcium stalking him as they fight right at the doorway annoyingly. There we go, back into the hallway now. And Calcium sends him into that equipment, uh, into that equipment box. Ooh. Nice oh, kick by Calcium. Oh, that running kick to the head. He's he's done a ton of damage recently. Lemon's in some serious trouble here. Yeah, great stuff by Calcium. We all knew he could do it. Yeah, Calcium tried to claim the backstage area yep. is his dojo, but we just haven't seen it. The likes of the mastery of Scurimezzo. Maybe, though, <laughs> Scurimezzo might have had a hand in this booking for Lemon. It's got to be a little bit sour at Lemon after that Hell in a Cell loss a couple weeks ago. Maybe thought the backstage brawl against Calcium would be the undoing of Lemon. But Lemon now trying desperately to come back in this one. But you can keep trying because Calcium's got him. Oh, yeah. dear. It sends him through that chair. Oh, no, but Lemon using his muscles, his inflatable muscles to power out. Oh, no, quick jab. Somehow, somehow caught him. The Whoa. spin around into the DDT onto that 32 feet of stone concrete. Unbelievable stuff. Where's Lemon going? Where? What? Jims, what's he doing here? Oh, dear. Oh, Lemon. Lemon thinking, Lemon <laughs> thinking he's got to put on a show. We know the guy can talk. Now he's looking to uh, make his presence known as he's <laughs> up there taunting on the top of the semi. <laughs> what the fuck is Lemon doing right now? <laughs> he's baiting Calcium in, and I think it's going to work. Calcium stalking him. Lemon just <laughs> cheering himself on. Who'd have thought? Calcium, no, Calcium thought better about it, but he's going up there, going after Lemon, and I think he's walked right into Lemon's trap here. And he sure has. Uppercut to Calcium. Oh, dangerous situation here. As Calcium, lay, or excuse me, Lemon lays into Calcium, but no, Calcium trying to fight right back. Trading <laughs> uppercuts. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Calcium just set him off, but Lemon is not out. Lemon not knocked out by the impact there. Calcium dropping down. Lemon took the big fall. Don't know, Bezel. I have no idea. I think it's just because the competitors really go the extra mile uh, when they know they're uh, competing for a, uh, you know, a production they have a chance at. But look at this, the equipment. Oh, no! Oh, no! The bare feet! The bare feet of Calcium. He ran over his feet. And we could just be a, a, a crane kick or a, a trouble in paradise away from a victory. Both these men have taken a hell of a lot of damage. That was amazing, wasn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Calcium, though, try and know they're so close, so close. They're just countering. Oh, there's the trouble oh. in paradise. He's done it. Lemon knocked him out. Lemon caught him with the trouble in paradise. And Lemon is good. You're a winner. And folks, we're going right back to your beat the clock challenge. Well, that is an absolute joke, honestly. Calcium throws him off the top of there. Doesn't what? win. Ridiculous. Well, you know, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta put your fight in for the entire match, Jim. I think he thought he had it and uh, really exposed himself. Bare feet in a fight. That's gonna do it to you every time. And the, uh, you know, that we've seen that trouble in paradise and quite a few matches. All right, here <laughs> we. Seen that. Here we go. Labret Mask will win will win and advance with a pinfall or submission or uh, no, no, sorry, not or a draw. Uh, he'll win with a pinfall or submission. And if he loses, there will be a tiebreaker between Oriolensis and Flicky Flack or Flick Flack, as it says there. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Um, so, yeah, loses or draws, this will go to another match in this epic feat, but all the bread mask has to do is score any kind of victory here. And, you know, you got to like his odds. Mm -hmm. You don't know what you're talking about, Bezel. <laughs> Bezel. This is happening live. Anything can happen, Bezel. Man, my neck. I got a kink in my neck. Shut up, J5. <laughs> you, guys you guys suck so much. Why don't you go back? You no, know what? Unnatural snacker. You don't belong around here. We got Muppet Pack. Oh, the bread mask. 
Oh dear, but oh buddy, that mask once again his undoing. We've we've seen him have so many visual problems before. <laughs> Maybe Lemon is good calling it. We've seen Oriolensis. Oh, big boots sending him over the top. Didn't expect that from. Uh... Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oriolensis. Oriolensis getting in the head of Lebret. Mask distracting him. Lean Guerra has recovered and right back on top. Oh, I don't know what that was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but man, Lebret Mask is feeling it right now. He's so fired up. <laughs> yeah, eleven. Oh, you start nearly getting involved there. That would be very unflick flack of him. <laughs> Wouldn't it? Just it was probably the most <laughs> exciting point of his life. <laughs> yep. No, no, he's right. But I mean, he threw that chair in. We saw it do absolutely nothing last match. True. He'll probably make a spreadsheet on uh, interfering <laughs> matches now. <laughs> All right, the battle to the outside again. No countouts in this one. Oh, and Lebred Mass sent right into those 4,000 pound steel steps. Really? 4,000 on chin? Yeah, we, uh, we, use, uh, we don't use the chintzy uh, plastic stuff like JFW does. Well, I mean, uh, there are 1,000 pounds on, uh, on JFW, but 4,000 is uh, very impressive. Yeah, I know. Most things about shit are very impressive. I agree, Jim. So I'm so glad you're finally seeing the light on this programming. Some people would say that you're full of shit with such a bold claim. <laughs> Some people can go fuck themselves. <laughs> yeah, Some right, people lean. might be fucking themselves right now while they're dead. <laughs> Do I need to mute the Discord audio that I spent all afternoon <laughs> trying to line up? <laughs> oh, sorry. Back to the match. All right. Well, this is definitely not going on my YouTube. I mean, I hope not. There's nothing on my YouTube. <laughs> well, Brett Lass in control, isn't he? He's done quite well. Oh, not in control anymore. It's laid out. Yeah, Lemon. I mean, you know, I, I, Jim punches out of his weight class often on commentary, so uh, what are you really going to do there? All right, we're just about to the halfway point. Oh, Oreo Lentz is backing off there. Doesn't want to give the ref any any sort of argument case that would benefit LeBred Mask. Oh, look at this. LeBred Mask thinking about flying. Oh, he set him up, and here we go. And the crowd saying it, this is awesome. It sure as fuck is. <laughs> the suicide dive by LeBred Mask sends Lean Guerra right into the ring and now setting him up for something big. Oh, slams his forehead into the hardest part of the ring, the apron. Yep. Oh, what's he thinking now? Might be thinking about something big here. <laughs> well, he was thinking about something big, but the result was not what it, as intended. <laughs> the Wednesday night wanker. Fucking yep. not right. Oh, dear. <laughs> and that gave... Oh, no! He, what do you know? He missed with another walking stinger splash. <laughs> Have a nice drop toe hold to bring him back in. Lean Guerra on the attack. Four minutes and 20 seconds left. Whoa. That was crazy. Oh, went for another RKO, but countered again, but he still got that running kick. Oh, standing sent on. Excuse me, uh, standing, uh, whatever the fuck that's called. Yep. Maneuver. Do you? Sunset flip? Is that a, the inverted one? Yeah, I forgot. I, I don't know. I can't tell you the truth. Yeah, moon salts backwards, sunsets for Yeah, sunset flip. I think. I don't know. <laughs> Antsy knows. Like if Antsy's still watching, he'll correct us. 
Big yeah. superplex coming, and he hits it. Drops him right onto the shit logo, and he might have a pinfall here. No, not even going for it. Lean Guerra's only hope here, well, his best hope is a pinfall or submission to win this match. But it's going to be hard with a big kick to the side of the head like that from LeBred Mask. Oh, and now, oh, he's got the chair. He's got the chair. He's thinking about it. Ref distracted by Oriolensis. Oh, but no, he oh. did not connect with the chair. He did that time. Oh, it looked like the ref. Ref was looking ref, out, cool. looking at Flicky, but he, he clearly saw that. But ref yeah. allowing that chair shot. Maybe Flicky put that in the ring. I must have missed it. Ref okay with it, whatever happened. Wow. Controversial. Well, I, I, if you looked, you could see Oriolensis whispering to the ref moments before that, but the ref clearly back to line of sight there, and something happened. He let that chair shot go. Really weird. But now LeBred Mask winding up that arm, slowing this down, but he's got to hurry. He's only got two minutes left. And Lean Guerra punching out. Oh, there it is. That's it. One, two, three. Lean Guerra's going to advance. No. Lean Guerra hit the Scorpion Death Lock, but did not, or Death Drop, but did not lock it in for the three count. And LeBred Mask has signs of life. A minute 40 left. Huge uh, atomic drop there. Lean Guerra fired up. He, he's got to hurry, though. Minute 30 left. <laughs> Mind control spells. You sound a little tinfoil hatty there, Unseen Walker. I don't. Uh, I don't necessarily agree or believe with the uh, existence of pure magic, but uh, you know, uh, we've seen weirder things in the JFW, like you know, zombies <laughs> kicking their heads off and stuff. <laughs> Labred mask bringing him up. Look at this. Gonna do another kick to the head. Oh. Lean Garros out. Linger is out. 50 seconds. LeBred Mask, pin him. LeBred Mask, pin him. <laughs> no, he's going to go for a lame submission instead. 40 <laughs> seconds on the clock. Is this going to overtime? LeBred Mask, oh, the country wizard distracting him. Oh. Distracting LeBred Mask. And here comes Lean Guerra. Lean Guerra, big suplex. Can he win it just in time? I think he might. 20 seconds remain. He's got to hurry, though. He's got to hurry, though. No, he had... Oh, no! LeBred Mask countering. Flip Long Plex. 10 seconds to go. He's got him. Oh, he's got him. He's got him. Oh, no! Lenses <laughs> Lens pulled the ref out. There's no count. Le LeBred Mask thought he won. He thought he won. Oreo oh, Lenses incredible. spoils the win. This is going to a tiebreaker, and we're going to that tiebreaker right now. Flick Flack, Flicky Flack versus Oreo Lenses to settle it. Who will advance? Unbelievable. Oreo Lenses pulling all his weight in the in the two heads champs. Uh, everything they've done. Oh. <laughs> Shut up, Bezel. You know what? We we here in the business have heard that shit may be predetermined, but I wonder how many times it took to make such a perfect ending. And that, that was perfect. one, one. Every single match I recorded tonight was one and done. Wow! You look Inclu at that. That was e unbelievable. I good. know. I know. I almost <laughs> paused it. I almost paused it to make something happen there. But uh, ugh, no, one and done on all of them, except for um, obviously, except for the backstage brawl because I was controlling it. But anyway, we talk about that in the post show. Thank you, Jim. Sorry, I didn't want to ruin this for you, but that was incredible. I just had to no. say that was fucking incredible. That was nuts. That was just straight up happened. Now, I did have one advantage for that, but we'll talk about that afterwards. Yeah, you and Night Demon Bezel, you fuckers. Like, I get it. There's only so much we can do here <laughs> to make things unique. <laughs>
There's no time limit on this match, then. This is just a normal match. Yeah, just a normal match. Hopefully, it'll be mercifully slow because this has been a long show, and we've still got our main event to come, and what a main event it's going to be, let me tell you now. Oriolensis whispering sweet nothings in Freaky Fox here. Uh, a while, J5. <laughs> Not as much time as I spent trying to figure out how to climb the hell in a cell. <laughs> oh, look at this. Oh, the running powerbomb into the into the turnbuckle there. And you know what? Oriolensis, he's done so much for Liam Garen, so much for the two heads champs, Das Had. But could this be it? Flicky Flack is one hell of a competitor inside the squared circle. Yeah, and this, this might be, be asking a bit too much of him. Yeah, this could be a step too far for sure. And a Flicky Flack just completely annihilating him right now. Big pump handle coming up here. Pump handle slam. He hits it. Oh, I, I mean, hey, I want to agree with you, Lean Guerra, but it's hard. And look at this. Lean Guerra now arguing with Flicky Flack, distracting him, giving Oriolensis just a moment of respite there. He is a wizard over 50, my friend, so. <laughs> <laughs> Flicky Flack, completely confident he's got this one, beating up the old man. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> no argument being made for Moria Lenses. This might be it. No, just a one-count kick out. Yeah, he's asking a lot. He's a, he's a bit of a monster, is all Flicky Flack. Oh, nice little counter there by Oria Lenses to try and come back. Nice neck breaker. Where's Ori Lensis going? Is he what? Uh, oh, he's he's pulling the turnbuckle off, exposing that that turnbuckle from by removing the pad. Ori Lensis looking for something, maybe the 150k Cyan Dream. Nope. Countered by Flicky Flack. <laughs> it's true, Ansi. <Auntie>, yeah. Yep. <laughs> oh, good night, sweet prince. And here comes the spear. Oh, here comes the spear. I think this is it, folks. Ori Lensis. Oh no, he counters into a DDT somehow. How did he pull that off? Incredible. And, and, and the pin. It's just a one count. <laughs> Setting up uh, Flicky here. Oh, he might send him in. And he does. Oh no. Ooh. Oh, sends him into that expo exposed turnbuckle. That'll really do some damage on your spinal column. One of the very few times we've seen removing the turnbuckle actually help. <laughs> I know, like the only time I think. <laughs> I want to see Lean Gary hit one, uh, hit that 10, the 10 he uh, slam, head slams into the turnbuckle. Oh, Flicky Flack going old school. Ref not paying attention here while he's fixing the turbuckle pad. And he, whap me, he hit him in the back. What a devastating maneuver, Jim. <laughs> yeah, that was something else, wasn't it? Flicky feeling the effects. Oh, but I think this is it. Flackhammer coming. Oriolensis, the country wizard. Good night. Oh, boy. Yep, he's up. He's down, and I think Lean Guerra is out of this tournament. <laughs> he kicked out. Oriolensis has kicked out. Unbelievably. Hey, Gengar, you've missed everything but your own match, which is the main event. It's Gengar versus Fanfox following this match. And just, I don't think Oriolensis has gotten a strike in since, uh, since throwing Flicky into that corner. And there's the Spine Buster and going right for the pinfall. Two count kick out again by Oriolensis. Really Flicky maybe go, oh, another <laughs> spear. Another spear. 
Oh, that one connects. That one connects. Flicky, pin him. Yeah, there you go. Flicky Flack. One, two, three. Two count kick out again. Where is this energy coming for the country wizard as he fights back in this one? Hasn't got a lick of offense in until that kick. <laughs> Sending Flicky into the corner here. Nice power slam on the bigger man. Oh, oh, this is classic patented. Oriolensis going to drop that elbow. Drops the elbow. Going for a hopeful pin here. Don't think this is going to be enough, folks. Maybe. Oh my God! <laughs> Oriolensis has won it. I don't know how. I don't know why. Oriolensis has just beaten Flicky Flack, and Lean Gara is going to advance into the final four. What a match! What a series between those two. And you can see it. Lean Gara knows. Lean Gara knows he might be advancing, but Oriolensis is the reason he got there. Unbelievable stuff by both of those men. It was almost like that elbow drop. Oriolensis was suddenly 3,000 pounds when he came down on Flicky Flack. <laughs> it was incredible. The wizard sleeve elbow drop. Yeah, Didn't man, know. it's okay. And oh, baby, our main <laughs> event. Two out of three tables. Here we go. Gengar versus Fanfox. This might be the last we ever see of Fanfox because Gengar, undefeated since his debut, has literally torn everything he has been put in front of him apart in terms of a uh, spike. But let's not forget um, his win on Monday Night Claw, one of the fastest wins in JFW history. Yeah, he battered uh, Goliath, didn't he? He sure did. Just massacred him. And now he's coming out to do the same to Fant Fox, two out of three table match. Can't bet against him against a shithead. I'm sure, That's hard. I'm sure Gengar will win. Yeah, Gengar owes his loyalties to basically no one. Um, but you know, saw you know, saw signs of respect between him and Night Demon on JFW Claw as uh, Night Demon came out to watch that match, and that really helped uh, Gengar turn it on. I think. And, you know, it would be a good fit for him to join six feet down under, that's for sure. Mm. Even though he's like seven and a half feet. <laughs> now, Gorilla, is the winner of this match takes on Lemon is Good, is that correct? Uh, that is correct, Jims. Will it be, could we see, dressed for business, having to go 1v1 to get to the finals? Hard to ask a tag team to do that, but you know, when one half of that tag team is Lemon is good, <laughs> you know the loyalty is only going to go so far. <laughs> but hey, we can't talk about next week because right now we got to talk about this week. And this man right here has as tall a task as basically anyone has had in this tournament other than Geeks Wargaming last week against Demon Brick Rick Reckless and Extra Arms Bot. Yeah, this is asking a lot for me. <laughs> Here he is, shit aficionado himself. Ant Fox, he's pulled out some incredible wins in his career. This little one would be the feather in his very distinguished cap. Absolutely. Here we go. Two out of three table. Excuse me. Two out of three table. Table. <laughs> Fan Fox is bouncing off of Gengar and right <laughs> into a military press slam. And settle up. This might not last that long. <laughs> He's certainly got the moves to put him through, Andy, with all these uh, power bombs. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> oh no, but you know, early, uh, early salvo by Fanfox keeping him in this one. Trying to rip those mummy arms out. Doesn't know what's inside of uh, inside of all those cloth wrappings. 
But uh, clearly there's some mass and some muscle. Yeah, very strange, isn't it? This this big muscly mummy, very like a Games Workshop uh, mummy. Yeah, a Tomb Guardian, as we like to call him. And again, Fanfox is bouncing off of him, trying to get those running drop kicks in. Oh, nice big uh, top rope elbow there. Fan Fox uh, showing us up a little bit, really performing well against Gengar thus far. That was an impressive maneuver, certainly. Got lucky with that one. <laughs> the shit nice move by Fan Fox. Yeah, J5, it's funny. Uh... It's a good job that Gengar's got so much toilet paper on him in these uh, unprecedented times. Yeah, the million dollar man himself. <laughs> oh, and Fanfox going out for that first table, maybe looking to strike quick. But how's he going to get Gengar through that thing? It's a good question. Oh no, and now the train just ran him over. Fanfox felt that and the table being set right up. No, it's not. No. Oh, Gengar missing with the table. Fanfox fighting it out of his hands. Oh no! <laughs> Gengar says, fuck it, I'll just punch through the goddamn thing. And that seemed to work. Wow, what a right hand. And Gengar claps both sides of his head in the big boot. We saw that kick off Spike's head last week. Or two weeks ago. Whenever that was. Whenever it was. It Time has no though. meaning. Time has no meaning anymore. <laughs> Dan Fox back in the ring going back for that table, but he leaves his opponent outside. What's he thinking? Sets it up right in the middle of the ring, but he's still got to go get the big man. And, uh, yeah, there you go. It looks like Fan Fox the one sent into the ring here. Oh, oh is this power our bomb. first first powerbomb of the night? Could have just put him through that table. Slams him down to the ring instead, and now, once he starts hitting those power bumps, he generally doesn't stop, folks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the elevation there as he as he just dead drops Fan Fox into the ring, but a nice dragon screw counter. And a nice swinging neck breaker on Gengar. Uh, you can't have managers out during special matches, Lean Gara. Oh, look at this deadlift powerbomb coming. Yup. Oh, <laughs> with authority. And standing him up one more time. No, Fanfox fighting his way out. Another neck breaker there. Oh, is he? Oh, I thought he was throwing him out of the ring for a second. <laughs> Fanfox, the big uh, Fanfox, slammed hard into the mat there, and now just stomped on by Gengar. And another oh, power. Bomb. <laughs> oh, close again to that table. Doesn't connect. And now Fanfox has just been ragdolling around this ring. This, the end could be nigh for him here. Oh, yep. Gengar setting him up on that table. No! Fanfox shoves him off of him, elbows out. And now Fanfox drops the knee into the back of the head. 
<laughs> yeah, Lemon. Hey, you know what, Lemon? Uh, why don't you keep bitching about it and prepare <laughs> yourself for Gengar next week in the final episode of shit. Can you believe we are already in the final episode next week? Wow, I can't believe that. But yeah, good. we're gonna yeah because we've got some we got Survivor Series just after it, and shit is designed to end right before Survivor Series. Incredible stuff. I believe the week after we will have a shit special where we will do the 30 man uh, uh, Royal Rumble, but we won't be able to. Well, maybe we'll be able to fit it into that show if we do like a two hour show. Mm. Oh, and here we go, Fan Fox. Where's he going with that thing? Bit right into the middle of the ring again. Can we see the rock bottom through that? Oh, nice counter by uh, nice counter by Gengar there. A little bit of agility by the big man. Oh, and look at this. Shades of Skirmetso, the pop-up power bomb. He loves him some power bombs. Oh no, the running kick to the head. Oh, just. Sends him packing, and now where's he going with this table? Right into the corner. Oh dear. I think we might get our first pinfall, or excuse me, our first score. Yep, here goes Phil. Oh no, table doesn't break. Table doesn't break, but I think oh, this is gonna break on. it. Yep. Oh, I can't even <laughs> look. Gengar sends him right through that table, and he is up one nothing. And he's not wasting any time going right back to another <laughs> table there. Oh, dear. This is a massacre. <laughs> yeah, it sure. Yeah, it really, it really is. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, what's happening here? No, nothing's happening. Fan Fox very, uh, very lucky to knee out of that. Gengar rolling out of the ring to recover while Fan Fox flexes and, you know, gets himself excited. Fight going to the outside. And this is a good place for Fan Fox to be trying to get some damage into Gengar right now. No risk of tables in that general vicinity currently. Oh, but there is a big risk of big boots, and Fan Fox just took one of them. But he counters back. Yeah, very, very lucky there. Sends Gengar in. Table under the ropes there. They're just going to have to go grab it, pick it up. Oh, and dumped right back out. <laughs> Gengar. Oh, oh, I think he's confused. There's a table out there. I think he's a little confused. He really he wants to grab to a table, table, but the table's under the ropes. That could be a problem. That yeah, could be a big problem. doesn't have to be uh, in the ring, does it? What's that? The table doesn't have to be in the ring, does it? Like they could, uh, they could no, it can happen. Or... No, it can happen anywhere. I think the problem is, uh, as we saw in our last pay-per-view, sometimes when the tables are under the ropes, it, it just kind of breaks everyone. Yeah. Yeah, an ounce table could do it. Oh, wow. That would be amazing. It sure would be. I don't think that's going to happen, though. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows anything can happen on shit? <laughs> oh, especially this though. The oh god, the double power bombs. <laughs> oh, pardon me, the triple power bombs. Oh, <laughs> Gengar. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure that table under the ropes has broken this match. Pretty sure though. Uh, shit, shit, shit's got its shit together. I'm sure uh, this problem won't be uh, very long. Oh, I didn't know what that was. Whatever that was, it was very effective. Yeah, I was assuming a crucifix power bomb, but yeah, me too. You know, he just just fucking ragdolls him. <laughs> well, uh, Fan Fox is lucky to be alive right now, but that might end soon as he continues the fight. Goes right after Gengar. <laughs> Another huge big boot there. And Fanfox hasn't gotten in some real offense in a good long while. We might just have to stop this match. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right, now maybe Gengar. Maybe Gengar. 
Definitely didn't see a quick cut there. Maybe Gengar now going <laughs> over to get that table appropriately. <laughs> no, no, he still doesn't know what he's doing. Oh, maybe he needs to learn the controls. Yeah, maybe Gengar <laughs> needs to learn the controls better. <laughs> oh, and that gave Fanfox an opening, though. And now Fanfox, <laughs> Fanfox going out of the ring. Didn't see a cut there either, folks. <laughs> it's like we're watching Fanfox learn the controls of the game live. <laughs> As he drops the elbow and he goes, oh, he got the table! <laughs> Finally gets the table! <laughs> but Kenny set it up. Will things get back to normal now? No. Maybe. <laughs> he does. <laughs> oh, don't oh, get. This is the AI now, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's even better. I know. <laughs> oh dear. It took me like 20 minutes to get that table out from <laughs> Yeah, yeah, me playing is definitely worse than the fucking AI can do. Oh, but here's Fanfox. He's got him set up. Might be looking for the rock bottom. No, 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 no. He just goes for the uh the spine buster, but he ties it up and there it is. The crab walk. We've seen, seen that basically in matches before. <laughs> Fanfox well, fighting well, back well. here. Yeah, absolutely. Very lucky stuff by Fanfox. As he bounces him off the ropes. And this might be his last rally here. I can't imagine him surviving many more power bombs. Oh, another crab walk. <laughs> Devastating the crab walk. <laughs> oh fuck, so is that. <laughs> yep. Fanfox conveniently rolling right out to a table now. Oh also, yeah, there there are no there are no announce tables and shit. Oh, I forgot yeah. to mention that. Yeah, there never yeah. has been. Oh. It's a small arena. We cater to a more intimate crowd, Jim. Yeah. That's your that's your that's your opening to be like, yeah, that's because you can't draw more people. That's because you can't draw more people, you Oh, shithead. you son of a bitch. How dare you go there? How dare you? <laughs> I don't really I'm fighting words, Jim. Despite apparently being the most toxic guy ever. <laughs> yeah, I think, you, I think what you mean is next week, Muppet, because I think this one is uh, winding down, although Fanfox making a match out of it. Not scoring a pinfall there. Oh, one of his own. Oh, and here we go. You yeah, had the demographics. Yeah. Fanfox bringing the table in. Gengar not moving so much. No way. Could he win it? Maybe. He sure could. He's got that table now set up. One of these two men is likely to go through that thing and end this match. And it could be Gengar right now. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He's got him. He's got him, no, the chop, no. Gengar smartly falling away from the table, but Lemon, or excuse me, Fanfox, putting him right back into it. Oh, this is it! No! He's got him! He's done it! Fanfox has done it! He has withstood the storm. Unbelievable stuff. He has defeated Gengar. Gengar's first loss in professional wrestling. Comes in a two out of three table match. Fanfox found a way. And next week on the finale of shit, your final four matches, dressed for businesses, Lean Guerra against Muppet Pac-Man and Fanfox versus his tag team partner, Lemon is Good. Matches for the ages, folks. Fanfox is your winner tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, Skurametsu's high intensity tournament. The quarterfinals have ended. You know, I just went through the winners. Can you believe those results? Unbelievable stuff. Jimps, you know what? I'm gonna say it. It's nice having you around. I wish you'd see the light and see shit for what it is and JFW for what it fucking is. And, uh, <laughs> but thanks anyway for barging your way in here and thanks for joining me, Jim. My name is Gorilla Mezzo, and this has been shit. 
Oh yeah, and thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.